Hello friends, I am out here in the forest with lots of birds singing and making noises around me. I started talking to try and film this video and they started talking to me back. So, hey, you know what? This is a video about a microphone, so let's go with it. <laughs> so, I am talking to you today about the Rode Video Micro. It is a microphone that I purchased uh, a month or two ago, actually for going out into the field. <laughs> so there are three reasons, three and a half reasons, let's say, that I decided to go with the Video Micro. Number one, it's small and it doesn't hang off the back of the camera. So because I do both photos and videos, I wanna be able to hold the camera up to my face as well as shoot video with it without having to take the microphone on and off. So with this thing, I can actually hold the camera up to my face. Number two, you don't have to charge it. It actually uses the camera's battery power to power it. And I'm gonna put up on the screen right now the few cameras that will not be compatible with this microphone. As you can see, it works with a great number of cameras. Now, there's benefits to having a powered microphone, certainly, but when I'm going out into the field, I've been known to forget to charge my microphone and I've been out in the field with an uncharged microphone that I'm toting around. Um, I have, I've used a bunch of different solutions. I have lavalier microphones, um, which plug into different things. Also, um, I have the video, mm, the video mic pro plus and the older video mic pro and yeah, anyway, I have those, but they have to be charged. They're also kind of big, the two Rode microphones that I mentioned. Number three is that this microphone is relatively inexpensive, which I always like, I'm on a budget. And the half that I mentioned is that this microphone comes with kind of everything you need. It comes with the cable to plug it into your camera, and it also comes with a wind sock, which is very helpful for me because I want to use it outside and there's oftentimes wind like there is right now. And I say that that's kind of a half thing because it's not necessarily something that would make me choose one microphone over another, but it really is nice to have a relatively inexpensive microphone that comes with everything that you need. So although there's all these benefits, there are a couple of kind of trade-offs with it being small, with it being relatively inexpensive. Uh, the trade-offs are that it is a microphone that it doesn't capture sound from all the way around it. It captures sound from mainly from in front of the microphone, like where I'm standing right now, and a little bit from like the sides. So if you're standing behind the microphone, it's not gonna pick up as much noise. Now for me, that actually isn't that big a deal because if I am behind the camera talking, I'm gonna be close enough to the camera that the mic will still pick it up. So for me, it hasn't been an issue. Hello, Raymond. You know, I'm always a little terrified when I'm flying a drone. What are you flying right now? I'm flying the Mavic Pro as opposed to the Mavic 2 Pro. Thank you for letting me borrow your cord. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so this is our little test of Raymond being in front of the camera and I am behind it, pretty much using the same volume that I was when I was in front of the camera. The other trade-off is that the microphone doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. You get what you get. There's no gain on it or anything like that. What you can do is actually use the camera's options for gain that you can sometimes find in the menu. All right, let's wrap things up, friends. I have switched up how I have the camera. I'm actually holding it like most people would hold it if they were going to be vlogging with it. So I have it on a Gorillapod right now. So I do apologize if this is a little bit shaky because this is not how I normally film. So I wanted to have Raymond give us a little chit chat. This is Raymond and I'm testing the microphone <laughs> with you. That way you can hear what it sounds like with a different voice. And let's hear what it sounds like real quick with just the camera audio. All right, friends, camera audio only. And this is at like an auto setting in the camera. 
Raymond? This is CNN. <laughs> this isn't CNN. I, can we get in trouble for that? Anyway. All right, one more test. I am going to do three things here. We are going to do, right now, the audio with no boost at all. This is just the audio that is coming straight out of the camera with the microphone on it. And this audio is boosted, just plain old boosted. So I'll put the however many decibels I boosted it on the screen around here somewhere. And last, I have edited this audio like I normally do in Audacity using the compressor effect. All right, friends, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, so far, I am really happy with this microphone. This is what I'm going to start using when I'm out in the field. And that's it. I will put a link to this microphone down in the description below. Uh, it is an Amazon affiliate link, so thank you to those of you that use those links. And that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching this microphone test, and I'll talk to you soon.